Hey folks, in this video I want to share with you a technique that I use quite a bit to create three-dimensional objects just using basic shapes and compound shapes in Photoshop. Let's get started. My name is Krishna and welcome to my channel, Krishna Draws. Let's go ahead and start out with just a basic primer on what I'm going to be doing here. I'll start out with a rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to create a rectangular shape and I'll create another one like so and I'll hit Option Delete. Option Delete fills your foreground color. And what I'm going to do next is I'll deselect by hitting Command uh, D to deselect. And I'll hit Command T and I'll choose Perspective. So now I've got a basic shape that I want to use. Let me now hit the Command key on the thumbnail. And when I do, it makes a selection. And I'll make a brand new layer. I'll go to Edit, Stroke, and I'll pick a dark color here. And I'll make sure that uh, my stroke is set to the inside. That gives me really crisp corners. And I'm using a pixel width of 10 pixels. And I'll just pick a color that I want. The other values I'm leaving as default. Click OK. And you can see that the stroke now shows up. What I can do from there is I can duplicate that layer by hitting Command J. Move it down. I can move it as, you know, thin as I want to, or I can move it down to give it some distance. It's really entirely up to you. I'm going to do something like that. And I'll just drop the opacity so we can see there's no confusion between the top and bottom shapes. But this is my basic structure here. And the next thing I need to do is I need to add some lines. And you know what? I just want to just maybe transform this and scale it down a smidge just to give it some added perspective. So the visible corners here that are going to have edges that connect are this corner, this corner, and this corner. Now, the challenge might be, well, how do I draw a straight line that has some line weight to it and make it look natural? Because you can use the line tool, but I really am not a huge fan of that. Instead, what I would like to share with you is a technique that I use where I create a vertical line like so. I will hit Command T and I'll just move it into position to where the top edge is on the corner that I'm interested in working at, which is right here. And I can also adjust the pivot of this object by moving it up to the top. And this allows me to rotate uh, across that pivot. So I can now connect it to this line over here, I'll hit Enter, and I'll just get rid of the gunk, get rid of the extra stuff that I don't need. Then I can rinse and repeat that for the other corners. Let's do this one right here. I'll make a straight line here. This one actually kind of works out. Eh, it's a little bit off. Let me go ahead and fix that. I'll hit Command T. I'll move the pivot to the top and just rotate the bottom ever so slightly and hit Enter. I'll do the same thing for the opposite side over here. Just create a straight line. I'm putting these lines on their own layer. That's really, really important. If you put it on the line with the shape that's already there, this isn't going to work. So I'll just move this into position. Hit Command T. Make sure that the uh, pivot point is set to the top. And I can simply rotate this to give me that straight line that appears at an angle. And then with the lasso tool, I can just hit Command X to clean that up. So now I've got this thing in proper perspective. I guess there's one more line right here, but I'm not going to worry about that for this video. Uh, what I wanted to show you is this, how this technique is going to work. Um, and the bottom most layer, which is right here, I can simply go to the bottom most layer and just get rid of the stuff that is not going to be visible. And when I'm done with that, I can bring the opacity back up and I can merge all of those individual line segments together. So now I've got this three-dimensional block that I can use. And this works great not only with straight-edged forms, but you can mix and match. You can have some circular shapes mixed with some rectangular shapes. Just to go ahead and show you what I'm talking about, if I have a rectangular shape here and I've got an ellipse marquee tool, I can hold the Option key down and that subtracts from my selection like so. I can fill that in. I can hit Command T, choose my perspective tool, do something like that. Hit Command T again, 
or sorry, hit the uh, command key and click on the thumbnail to make my selection, make a brand new layer, go to edit, choose stroke, click OK. And this allows me to get those nice clean shapes very quickly and very easily. And then again, using that line segment technique, I can connect the top points or the top edges to the, to the bottom edges just by finding the corresponding points. And there you go. Then you've got these objects and then you can add your windows and other details as need be. So that's the tip. If you've got any questions about that, please let me know in the comments below. If you haven't considered subscribing, definitely do that. And um, if you found some value in this video, I definitely would appreciate a thumbs up. Let me know what you'd like to see me discuss in upcoming videos. This channel is really to help other intermediate digital artists level up their game. So I need to know what's on your mind. So drop me a comment and I do read each and every one and I do respond to every comment that's there. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.